It feels like I'm skydiving when I text you Rose petals on the floor outside your bedroom Sunshine, but never you smile, it's the best view I was at the bottom waiting for a rescue But now it's like a paradise enveloped in light Okay, so we can look like twins <laughs> yeah. We can look like sisters We can look like sisters, because at work we get called sisters It's over Next person, we're We're quitting. getting bus cut Oh, oh. <laughs> Would imagine you get a bus cut? You know those guys from the Wii? Or without hair? They're just bald. Yeah, that's how you put them. Look. That's not no, because I'm not. Sand version. Unless I like shave it, like oh, shave, 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 shave. Oh yeah. No, ah, I'm getting a bus cut on. Okay, so today we got McDonald's. So we got um a Big Mac bundle. If you don't know what that is, it's search pretty it up. <laughs> So two Big Macs, um, two medium fries, and 20 piece chicken nuggets. I think actually it's not bad. My feelings? <laughs> <laughs> I expected a Big Mac to be bigger. I didn't, I gave my chicken nuggets to my brother because I'm that nice. Also because I was broke and I couldn't afford to buy <laughs> chicken nuggets. I wonder if I can inhale it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you're trying to end up going to the hospital, your mom going to think I did something to you. <laughs> We're looking into other jobs because I'm not trying to put Walmart on the spot. There's just some certain employees who I must put on the spot. Walmart's not bad, but like, there's certain people that make the job hard on us, especially since we're minors. Like, they try to take advantage of doing their things to us because they're like, oh, they're not gonna listen to you. But like, it's just not fair. Like, some people are just not fair enough to some other people. It's just like, mm -hmm. you know. There is this one. Oh my god. Okay, I don't want. <laughs> Who you at expose? Pretty much, we started talking about one of our coworkers, and I forgot to mention that. So catfish. Before either of us worked at Walmart, there's this one dude who I would hi who. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even speak. <laughs> who I know that was new because I had never seen him before. And if you know me, I stay going to Walmart. I'm always at Walmart. There. I'm obsessed with that store. For no reason, like I literally no. I told her, I told her, I'm like, bro, I think this dude you're gonna find is very cute. Later on, why am I putting ranch on my burger? Later on, turns out that it was the dude I was talking to her about. I met him once COVID started, like in March, because I started working in March. The first day I was working there, like the same week of the first day, he talked to me. He was like, what's up? And I was just like, I even texted her right away. I was like, I was like, bro, this dude just told me like, what's up? I'm just like, I don't even know him. But then from there, that's when we started talking. Not like that, just just friends. We just started talking like friends and everything. And then we got catfish. Because under that mask, like with the mask on, he was looking cute, he was fine. Like, no cap. But then we saw him without the mask and we were like, I forgot to mention that this was a different person that we started talking about. I tried to get hired. I saw this dude in the in the freaking room. I was in the break room, and then my other friend, he was talking to him, and then he told him to come over and sit with us. And so we were chilling, and ever since from that day, we became, I guess, friends. So ahora si me quieres, no? Ahora si me quieres. No! Vete para allá! I think I was like in the break room or something. But pretty much he started talking to me and then his friend came in, like the other dude, he came in and then we just started talking and then we kind of started hanging out like during work. But then they started moving differently. Pretty much Zulie started talking about what had happened like a few days ago. But I forgot and she forgot to mention that we we're talking about a new story pretty much, but it's the same people. Just keep that in mind. We're both gonna go to lunch. We're all going to lunch at the same time. I was like, okay, can you come with me? I'm gonna go order my my McDonald's. I'm gonna go order my McDonald's so I can eat. And then he's like, I. And then so then the other guy came in too, with the the, the girl. We left to the back to go eat. They came after I did. So then I was sitting at that own my own table. Then they sat on their own table. They're like, oh, come join us. Come on, come sit with us. And I was like, nah, I'm cool, you know, like, I'm fine. They're like, nah, nah, come over here, we'll make a spot for you. And I told them no, like, I didn't want to sit with them. They're like, I right, okay, then they stopped, you know. And then so they went, and they left, like, 
it was like 20 minutes past or something and then they left the break room and then they came back and they were still offering me to sit and i was like mm -mm. i was like no so and i left and then they looked bothered as fuck because i didn't want to sit with them it wasn't like that though and the vibe they were giving to her was just so different to what they give to us like usually it's us who would carry the conversation just to get out of something out of them but with that like when they were with the other person like it seemed like everything like went smoothly and it's like bro we're not gonna force something either because it's kind of we're looking dumb at the end of the day and then today we came in we went to the to our break and they knew that we were going to our break and then they came in later here's the thing they could have sat with us because there was space at the table it was just Zuli and i and then there's like other chairs there but of course they can like pull up chairs like it doesn't matter but low-key i feel like we feel like the reason that they didn't sit with us was because they were with the other person he was hella flirty with her and later on turns out he has a whole female i think he was like i wasn't flirty with you literally the same day he blocked me here called me at freaking four in the morning texted me and i'm just like bro i'm sleeping and like he didn't even get me so i woke up it was like at seven i was trying to answer back I noticed I got blocked. So we're not friends, I guess. The thing that sucks though is like, I really didn't mind he had a female, you know? Like, I was just wondering, you know, like, why were you friendly? But like, I didn't want us to end up on, I guess, on beef or like bad terms. Bad terms. So I'm just like, I don't know. He didn't really have to block me. Could have just been like, you know, like, if it seemed like I was doing this and my bad, I didn't really mean it that way. You know, like, what mature people would do <laughs> so pretty much today's beef that i wanted to talk about not this beef but, <laughs> <laughs> but the beef at work today because i'm like you know what it must be said because it just needs to be said but how we said before walmart is not a bad place to work it's just some co-workers pretty much just make it upsetting and not to go to work and i guess like yeah, it makes sense because people are going to be like, it's always going to be like that. Like, there's always going to be problems with some coworkers and everything. But it shouldn't necessarily be like that, especially if it's more than one coworker against you. I just wanted to clarify that I'm not like 100% sure that these certain coworkers are against me. I just wanted to like pretty much say that I just have a feeling like they don't like me, that I'm probably not their best employee they would want but it's because of a feeling and then sometimes how they treat me i guess you can say it's just like sometimes i feel like not discriminated but like less valued or pretty sh pretty much not appreciated as i should be feeling so i just wanted to say that before anyone tries to be like um what do you mean they don't like you you know yeah i guess you can say because okay so pretty much today Zuli and i both worked from three to six so it's just a three-hour shift and like honestly we're like trying to get those hours trying to get that money because once school starts we're only going to be able to work like 10 hours a week probably yeah so it's like you know we're planning to stay till nine and it's funny <laughs> because oh <laughs> we look like freaking clowns oh my. we were literally walking around Kind of like back and forth in the front end because we kept on looking for um, two other managers and we couldn't find them. And we kept on asking about them. Literally, we spent like 40 minutes because I mean, you did push cars, I did see that. But like, we're still like more busy for looking for them than doing what we're <laughs> supposed to be doing, which is really dumb. But I know because I was even at a register, I was just standing there like bagging i was not bagging at all <laughs> i was like i'll bag for you never did shit i know the girl was like he was just looking at you like just to ask if we could stay like a little bit later because um uh, my supervisor um pretty much i just didn't feel like she don't like me i don't because um there's been times where i wanted to stay after because um like I said, I only work like three hours or four hours um, a day and pretty much I work every day. To be going in just to work three hours, like it ain't it, like it ain't, you know? I just wanted to say that I really sound so ungrateful because I know that a lot of people right now currently aren't working or got laid off 
and I'm over here complaining about just working three or four hours a day, which I should be grateful for, grateful for, but I just wanted to also get you guys to understand that gas is expensive to be going and coming back, like my mom to be picking me up and dropping me off, like it's just wasting out a, like, a lot of gas just for like those three or four hours, that's why I've asked for more hours, but there had been no change for like almost a month and just currently they changed my hours just like five hours now five or five and a half like it's a change but i wish it was a bigger change but i'm still grateful for that so before anyone tries to say that i'm so ungrateful for the hours that i'm getting i just wanted to clarify myself so i tried but i went to ask the manager and then they're like you know it's fine because then we had someone else ask for us because we were supposed to actually start working so he said that it was fine i told my mom i'm like oh you know what i'm gonna stay till six like don't worry and so then it turned like 6 30 and one of my supervisors comes and then she was like what are you doing here and i'm like working and then she was like oh well you're supposed to clock out because you're out at six and I'm like, oh, I know, but um, what's it called? I asked um, my manager if um, I could stay a little bit after. And they said that it was fine, like there was no problem. And then she came with saying that I couldn't do that because I was technically going over. I was, I was doing overtime, which technically can't because I'm only part time and I can't do 40 hours. Plus so she's a minor. So it wouldn't make any sense. We went to go talk to the manager who technically told us that we both could stay till 9. But ended up being that I told him and then he was like, well, you can stay because I'll talk to her because she has no right to be saying that. I told her, I told him no because I was going to go home. As you can see, we wanted to eat. Ended up that <laughs> she could have stayed till 9 to get that bag, you know. But she came with me. Loki, I wanted to cry not because I was upset, more because I was pissed off that they told me one thing and then they come out with a whole different thing. Lily has so much numbers and she doesn't even know who they actually are, so we're just trying to figure out who they are. And want to know something interesting. All the people that actually have answered and we've called all turning out to be dudes, so that kind of says something. We lost the contact. Hello? What you calling me for? Bro? Oh, this is Diego! <laughs> nah, because I was looking at my phone like, who the fuck is calling me? This is, it's just you, so. Yeah, oh, so you don't have my phone number saved? We text you, you don't answer until like three or four days later. I'm like, oh, man, Nah, crazy. fucking. Oh, shit. <gasps> fucking cat. Who the fuck Hold up, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Is it no? No. Does it have a, a fucking iPhone, dumbass? What the fuck was that? I don't know where to put it. No, I'm not gonna answer because you hang up on them. I'm like, sorry, my phone died, but I'm like, who is it? A Dad? female. Wait, sorry. Can I ask who this is? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. She said I wanted to get added to the group chat. <laughs> the person that disrespected me though, who the fuck are you? Like Hello? Hello? Who's this? Wait, who is this? <laughs> Who's this? Wait, but who is this though? Denise. Oh, hi Denise. <laughs> this girl used to go to school, we used to be friends. I ain't tell your number though. Damn, sis, how many fucking numbers you have? Who's this? Literally what I asked, who's this? <laughs> I hate when you ask and they ask you back. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to know who you are first. Oh, because they want to know who I am too. So, by the way. Hello? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? I'm just trying to, uh, I lost all my contacts, so I'm trying to see who this is. This is Sarah. Sarah? Oh, I'm sorry to bother. I don't know who Sarah is. Okay. Then Bruh, leave. how much you want to bet one of these phone numbers is his? Hold on, let me check his number. 